against everyone here heard about the Zika virus. No. The question is, what is Zika virus? The Zika virus is a member of the Flaviviridae virus family and the Flavivirus genus is trans transmitted by Aedes mosquitoes. Aedes mosquitoes are those mosquitoes that are found in your homes. It causes a male illness known as Zika, Zika disease or Zika fever. Now, how is Zika transmitted? The Zika virus is transmitted by daytime active mosquitoes and have been isolated from a number of species in the genus Aedes, such as Aedes aegypti and arboreal mosquitoes such as Aedes africanus. In 2015, Zika virus was detected in the amniotic fluid of two fetuses, which indicates that it crossed the placental barrier and that fetal infection is possible. Um, the pharmacist can help me out here. Um, there's a nurse talking in about the, Yeah, the fetus is about um, pregnancy. So pregnant women can contract this virus as well. In 2009, it was suggested that Zika virus can be sexually transmitted between humans when Brian Foy, who is a biologist, was infected by the Zika virus, and so when having intercourse with his wife, she got it as well. Now, um, before I go any further, the Zika virus was found in the Zika forest, and the first thing to contract that disease was a monkey. Was a no, what? monkey. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the symptoms of the Zika virus infection is low-grade fever, um, headaches, conjunctivitis, rash, post-infection, which seems to be frequent. And but the ones that are most rarely observed are digestive problems, where you have abdominal pain, diarrhea, and constipation. Um, Zika virus and pregnant. There are concerns that pregnant women who become infected with Zika virus can transmit the disease to their unborn babies with potentially serious consequences. Reports from several countries, most notably Brazil, demonstrate an increase in severe fetal birth defects and poor pregnancy outcomes in babies whose mothers were infected with Zika virus while pregnant. So some of these babies born with small heads and so on and it can even cause brain damage. So precautions against Zika virus. You have to use sunscreen and or insect repellent. Use bed nets as necessary. Stay and sleep in screened in or air conditioned rooms. But is that is that real a country? Are we you trying on the ACA country? <laughs> no, but you can use fun. A lot of country people have fun. Oh. The sunscreen So you put on the sunscreen first, then you put the repellent first. How about home remedy? Any home remedy you think about? Like garlic? Thyme. Huh? Thyme. They can use thyme. Mm -hmm. Rubber put thyme. Insect repellent and it repels mosquito ass. Yes, yeah, like Taiwan. Yeah, no. Thai of um like the thyme it serves as like insect repellent and also mosquito repellent. So what you do like all the entries that you know that like um the mosquito would come through the windows, the doors, like tie one nice little bundle at time and you like hang it right there. So the scent of the time would like help to repel all the, the harmful mosquito and the insects and all the unwanted um, things you want in your house. Beautiful. Any anything to prevent the mosquito? This dryer out, like, like something outside. And the tissue in the normal yeah, roll of the tissue and like. Then again, the dryer and the tissue they may help get rid of the, the mosquitoes, but kill the sinus. They kill the sinus and it. Yeah. Well, people are asthmatics and all of them say you have to find natural remedies that would not harm you but and get rid of the mosquitoes. Also. Yeah. Because for the chicken gun, I had my ability to 
<laughs> Anything to save my life. <laughs> oh yeah, drive that too. Okay. Anything else? Yeah. Um, they don't really have medication for the Zika virus, but they say that the symptoms can be treated with paracetamol, um, well, aspirin, and other non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs should only be used when the dengue has been moved out to reduce the risk of bleeding. So, most likely, just paracetamol you have to take for the pain. Yeah. They really can't treat the disease itself because there's no cure. Yeah. Yeah. Can just treat the the All right, so let's let's get right in. Yeah. So we need a, we need pharmacy now to help us out with <coughs> yeah. the pharmaceutical part of it. Come, <laughs> right. You can sit there and just hold it up. Uh, nurse, please hold the thermometer and the pulse because you should the pulse the oximeter. The nurse, hold that. As, um, tell us, you're, you're an expert in a particular field, so tell me. As Trish said before, um, you really can't treat disease itself because there's no cure. But what you can do is treat the symptoms that come along with it. Um, you can't give incense, as you said, but until the rule of dengue. No, for a popular um, treatment for the Zika virus, our treatment would be um, acetaminophen. A lot of Jamaicans would call it paracetamol. It's the same thing. Okay. Now, this is um, acetaminophen, 500 milligrams. Now, you can take two tablets, four times a day. Anything above that would be an overdose, and you're at risk to get a um, liver problem for a kidney failure. Okay. Yeah. And the other pharmacy, personally, we'll talk about the, two, the kids' dose. Okay. <clears throat> So here I have children's Tylenol. It's for pain and fever. And in it is the same acetaminophen. The active ingredient in it is acetaminophen as well. And so here they tell you that before you take on any liquid solution, you have to shake first. You have to shake it well so that um, all the, the particles in it may dissociate. And then you can take at least um, Five, five mils. I will give you five to ten mils for the for the dose, and you take that. Um, take that for the pain and the fever, and I wouldn't exceed. You must not give it five times in twenty-four hours because you'll become overdose. You want to sleep. Yeah, it hurts you. So it's like everything will just get worse. So remember when you're taking the medications. <coughs> not to overdose yourself. So you have to read the instructions. Right, read the instructions. For children, <coughs> your mother will tell you, and when you go to the pharmacy, then the pharmacist will actually tell the mother what to do. Okay? Understood? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's 